Burlington Mayor Mary Ann Mead Warden joins us this morning for her weekly update on the city. Good morning. Good morning, Bob. Good to see you. You know, these segments, you. Are, these segments are so big now, you're getting viewer mail. Uh, that's awesome. And questions. Um, so I've, I've got one on Twitter <laughs> from Jay. Uh, Jay um, tweets to us, um, I was wondering if you could ask Marianne Mead Ward, if the leaf pickup program is still a good use of our tax dollars, there are still tons of leaves on trees on my street, and we got picked up yesterday. Given the tax increase, it seems frivolous. Thank you. And thank you, Jay, for the question. So we have reviewed the leaf pickup at least three times. And the truth is you got to pay for leaves one way or the other. So if we ask people to bag them, they go up to Halton region for disposal. We pay a tipping fee and it actually costs the city more money mm. for that tipping fee than it does for us to get our vacuum out and, and go down the streets. It is not a perfect program because uh, mother nature doesn't always cooperate with us. And so we've adjusted the program on numerous occasions to go as late in the year as we can because the leave, the trees like to hold their leaves. Oh, and yeah. Anybody with a yard so, knows that. <clears throat> yeah. So I still have, we have a giant uh, silver maple in our backyard and it lets go of its leaves, you know, right before Christmas. So yeah. we constantly have to bag a little bit or a combination of bag and pickup. So uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's not a perfect program, but it is a service that uh, the residents, by and large, have told us that they value greatly, they want to keep, and it would cost uh, more money to change it. So from a financial standpoint, the program is better as is. Okay. Well, thanks for that answer, and thanks again, Jay, for that question. Uh, do you have an update on the uh, challenge to the Ontario Land Tribunal ruling on uh, Lakeshore and Pearl and that 29-story development? Not yet. Stay tuned. We are looking at our options. Yeah. Very, uh, very shocking uh, decision from the tribunal. And, uh, you know, we're we're going to do what we can to ensure that the community vision, which was not recognized at all in this ruling, uh, is brought to the forefront. As you work through the fine print of this, is there anything encouraging or discouraging? Well, the the decision to uh, ignore all of the work that the city has done over the past three years. This council has been very busy resetting the conversation around development downtown to bring a more reasonable approach. We've updated our official plan. We had an interim control bylaw to study the major transit station area, which found that it doesn't qualify. We are working on shifting growth to our three go stations. And we've worked with the province to get the uh, urban growth center designation, which was used to justify overdevelopment, including in this particular ruling, uh, to the GO station. And we're just waiting for the minister to sign off on that. We're expecting good news uh, very soon. Okay. Uh, and I will be I will be celebrating. But the tribunal didn't didn't look at any of those really three years of solid no. work by this council. So. That's uh, that's part of what is so shocking yeah. about this ruling. Yeah, well, we will stay tuned for developments with that. Ryerson Park, the renaming process is underway. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are four names that are on the short list. You can vote online at getinvolvedburlington.ca, ahead uh, of the Lake Park, Truth and Reconciliation Park, Unity Park, and Sweetgrass Park. And all of those have a description. If you go online and fill out the survey, you'll see why people submitted them, what the rationale was, and... The stories behind the suggested names are just as interesting as the names. So I do encourage people to get involved in that conversation, read up and make your choice. And that will come back to council, we think, in uh, December or early in the new year for a decision. Okay. Uh, before we go, tomorrow on Morning Live uh, and our Remembrance Day special at the Warplane Heritage Museum, we'll be speaking to our mutual friend, Gordon Schottlander, whose uh, face is hanging over Brant Street, uh, one of uh, many Burlington veteran war heroes, and we have so many stories tomorrow. But I just wanted to check in with you. Just give us a recap again of um, activities in Burlington tomorrow. There's a virtual ceremony. There is. So tune in a little before 11 a.m. to BurlingtonLegion.com. There will also be a link to that page from the city's webpage, Burlington.ca. Uh, so if you join in uh, a couple of minutes before 11, there will be a virtual streaming ceremony. There's also, every year, there's the Naval Veterans Ceremony down at Spencer Smith Park right. by the Naval Memorial. So that starts at 9. Okay, great. Well, Always great to chat with you, and we'll talk again next week. Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward, have a great day.